I know what you're thinking. I asked you guys to vote on which game I would play first for the channel, and NBA 2K very, very clearly won. Now, a few of you in the comments sort of warned me that that game would test my patience, and you were right. I, I haven't played a new 2K game in, in, in a bit, in a bit of time, and I think it's gonna take just a little bit of practice before I can get to a level where it's in any way interesting <laughs> for you to watch me play 2K, so I promise it's coming up, I'm working on it, but in the meantime, I wanted to get some gameplay videos up, see what you guys thought, and a lot of the comments were suggesting a UFC 5 career mode, and, and quite a few guys suggested that I create myself in the game, so I decided that we'd give that a shot, and that will be the first video in that series. Let me know what you think in the comments in today's episode. We're going to... I'm going to show you around the character, and then we are going to fight on Dana White's Contender series in hopes of getting a proper three-fight UFC contract. Thank you so, so much for checking out this video, for participating in the community polls and in the comments. It really is super, not only helpful for me, but really fun for me to be part of those discussions. So, without further ado, let's jump into the game and see what we can accomplish today. So we're jumping in to the character creation. And of course, I had to go with a kickboxer. I'm a Muay Thai girly. <laughs> um, it's also a boxer that's interesting because you start out with really um, advanced punching, but the stats just don't quite add up to the kickboxer. And I do love my kicks. MMA, also interesting, especially for the health stats. <laughs> but we're trying to go true, true to life here. We've got no grappling, all kickboxing. As true to life as possible. I'm not built like the girl you're seeing on your screen. Now, for the last names, you have to pick from a specific selection, a specific list, and my last name is never on those lists. It is very specifically French-Canadian, but when I was looking through, Camus jumped out at me. Not only is it French, but the book nerd, the philosophy nerd in me, thought that was perfect. I am a big fan of Albert Camus. The nickname, again, nothing was really inspiring me. Um, I'll come back to that. Let me talk about the age. I'm not 26. <laughs> I'm a little bit older than that, but I'm a little bit old to be starting a UFC career. <laughs> so I thought I'd give myself a few, a few years a benefit to work on this career. Now, in retrospect, I should have just used Marina Rodriguez, but I went with a pretty straightforward template, made a couple of changes, and for my Apex kit, I am wearing a sports bra and compression pants. If 
you see me in the gym, you will find me in compression pants. Not a sports bra, though. The t-shirts I found looked a little bit strange. That's usually the case with, like, female character models in these types of games. So I thought I'd just go with the sports bra in the gym. Uh, back to the nickname, The Cooler. Nothing really was inspiring me out of the list, so I figured we'd keep, we'd keep like the Canadian theme going. Also, it's keeping, it's keeping everything in C's. And I don't think you'll ever see it in this video, but I also have a Chuck Liddell inspired mouth guard. So it all it all ties in <laughs> together. Now for the hair, I ended up with this. I think it's like a Ronda Rousey little bun situation. I really liked these well I not really I liked these braids but they looked way too <laughs> chunky. Like it made your head look huge and I'm that's the petty kind of stuff that would bother me in the game. So I decided to go with the little, little rousy bun. And then I was, as I was going through showing you my character model, I realized I never went to the eyebrows. I'd missed that whole edit screen when I was making the character. So I sort of cycled through some of them. And in the end, I think I just go right back to the default eyebrows because none of them really looked that good. I think part of it is, again, my fault. Just messing around with the face a little bit made it look weird. But to do it again, I would just, I would just use Marina Rodriguez. Uh, and I think that's it. What else is there to go through? Oh, the style. The style. So I end up using my posture. I went with Carlos Condit because it's like, it looks like a very Muay Thai traditional stance. I was also looking at Overeem. Um, it's kind of boxy, but I'm, I'm really jumpy on my, like I'm, I, I'm really heavy on my back foot. So I went with Carlos Condit. And then we jump right in without any instruction or tutorial. <laughs> oh, before we do, we've got some settings. So, career difficulty. I went with normal just to get started. I've dabbled in UFC games before, but not enough that I felt confident starting on a heart. I want this to be interesting for you. <laughs> and they say, on normal that it does get harder as you move up and as you go to compete for the title and to defend it. And then for game style, I decided to go to simulation because it said, I think that it was like the most realistic version. You get tired quickly. So I thought that'd be a fun fun sort of experience for all of us. And now, we jump in without any notice to our first fight, which is like a straight fight, like a backyard fight. And maybe I'll, I'll let some of the dialogue play a little bit here and not talk about, not talk over it too much. Look at this guy's head. <laughs> Is it just me or it's tiny on that body? Your coach doesn't know you out here doing this. Hey, I gotta do what I gotta do, right? Then do what you gotta do. Like he's a big chunky, big chunky boy. And then he's got the tiniest hey! <laughs> little head on hey! top. Do you say so, yeah, I got this is the important you. part of the story. Yeah, someone's, someone's filming oh! us while we're doing like this covert backyard fight fighting against Holly Holm looking, looking girl and 
And we're fighting an out of Davis MMA. It's really starting to rain here. I don't know if you can hear that. Y'all ready for some action? Let's make some fucking noise! So we're going in. And this is too easy. This girl just doesn't protect her head at all. Very, very basic inputs here because, again, they throw you in without any <laughs> instruction. And this is actually a look at, I think, what is the competitive mode and not the simulation mode. But I'm just touching her up here. Like I said, she's not protecting her face, so it's easy to just keep, keep going at it, keep knocking her down. At this point, I don't know how to go for the ground and pound. So I just waited for her to get up, but it was quick. It was a quick little knockout here. Not much analysis <laughs> to share because, um, yeah, I think you can do pretty much anything and you'll be causing her some damage. So just doing some really basic combos. Jab, jab. I think, I think it's even the jab that took her out. I don't even think the cross took her out. There you go, backyard brawl. Um, we're a little bit cocky saying that we are the best <laughs> for knocking out this terrible fighter in someone's backyard, but gotta start somewhere. Everyone recording that this this girl again pink t-shirt girl put your phone down enjoy the evening but basically now because it's the next day we're going into the gym and sure enough coach davis of davis mma will have um seen some footage from our top secret brawl. It's not a brawl, from our top secret beating up some poor girl <laughs> last night. Oh. Hey guys, is that Valentina Shevchenko? No, no, no. That's Amanda Nunez. No, wait, I'm losing it. That's Jayway Lee right there, right? No, I know exactly who this is. It's that social media sensation whose coach explicitly told her not to do backyard battles. Am I right? Come on, coach. I told you already. That was the last time I sent oh, out Oh, oh, oh. I know it's the last time. I know it's the last time because we're going to start training you for legit fights starting today. Hold on. Did you just say legit whoa, fight? Oh, well, look at her. Getting all excited. <laughs> like I'm doing you. I want to know how I had a coach who was not training me for legit. He was like training me enough that the owner the gym knows my name <laughs> and yet he doesn't know me well enough to train me for legit fights now this brings you into this whole tutorial section where you're basically training one aspect of mma and then doing a fight and then training another aspect and i think it goes like probably three times three or four times where you get into one of these so-called legit fights and then you go back to the gym work on something new and go back to a fight but i don't think it'd be that interesting for you <laughs> to watch me go through a tutorial so i think we're gonna skip through all of it the important part is that you know that dana white sees footage of my last fight in the tutorial and I get invited to the contender series and before the contender series I get invited to the UFC PI now I have to say again I'll try not to talk over her too much but I was actually like pleasantly surprised I didn't even know that Valentina did voice acting for this game and 
is based on the cover art. I don't know if like if you play with a male fighter, if Volkanovsky is the one to greet you, or if it's always Valentina. But I was pleasantly surprised at Valentina's voice acting. Like it's no, I was yeah, I was pleasantly surprised because often in these sports games, whenever athletes have to do some voice acting, it is notoriously cringy. Like it's so bad, and I don't know if Valentina just had a really good um, voice coach, like acting coach, voiceover coach for this, or if she's just a natural. But she did a good job and. She'll, she'll come up again before the end of this video, and I, I won't talk over her. But we got our Dana White Contender Series contract, $10,000 show, $10,000 win. Now this is our first fight. It's against Bruna Lima, a flyweight out of Brazil. The hype is very low. <laughs> and we have a max camp length of three weeks. I started, I ended up doing two weeks because then you get to keep more of your purse from the fight. I don't know what there is to do with that money, but why not, why not rack it up? And then I used a lot of my fight camp to watch tape and I wish I hadn't because I was trying to get to tendencies to see what that was and they basically just told me don't try to check her leg kicks it's gonna hurt you it's not worth it and to be honest I'm really bad I need to work on uh, blocking body shots so that wasn't super helpful but otherwise did some sparring and did some hype stuff so at the end of the second week, the final week of our training camp here, and we did a little bit of fighter evolution with our training. So brought the accuracy up a little bit, the blocking, and then again, I like to focus on my kicks. Uh, as I do in real life, it's what I find easiest. <laughs> so kick power and kick speed went up. A little bit and I think I also boosted my punching a little bit too because um, I need the help then in grappling against I'm so not a grappler in real life or in this game although I do really want to get into BJJ in real life but I brought up my um, grappling defense a little bit just to try to help in that area and then leg strength, very important, chin strength as well, just, just boosting some, um, some features here to get us ready for the Contender Series. And then we started as a Muay Thai fighter with crazy legs, and we added frontal assault, another kicking perk. I thought about doing something to do with fitness or grappling defense. But since we were facing off against a striker in our first fight, I decided to invest in a striking perk. And then once we get, hopefully, if we get that UFC contract, depending on what kind of opponent we have, we can, we can look at adding a perk that has to do with fitness or grappling. But that is how we're starting off and how we're going into our contender series, um, contender series fight. So skipping ahead to the actual fight here, coach says, if you want a UFC contract, you'd better be ready to send your opponent home early. So we're not letting this one go to decision. We have to put her away. So we go. Um, a 
I don't think Valentina's coming in to the locker room yet, so I can, I can maybe speak over this and be safe. <laughs> um, now going into our contender series fight, and I have a lot to work on, as you'll see. There, there she is. Greetings, Rats, you guys. Just wanted to wish you both good luck. Hope everything went well as a play. It was incredible. Honestly, thank you so much. Yes, indeed. And we hope to come back again sometime. Of course, but being your five stars, okay? <laughs> Good luck. I was just about to tell you. All right. How you feeling? You ready to put on a show? 100%, All coach. All right, it's yours. Let's go get it. Let's go. Here we go. Okay, some lines are better than others, but like, do you see what I'm saying? It actually feels natural. <laughs> so here we are. Five, six, my real height. Twenty-six, not my real age. And Herb Dean is refereeing this one. So I realized I don't know how to touch gloves, but that's not important. She wasn't asking for it. And I'm just feeling her out here, getting a feel for the distance. Mixing up some head strikes and some body strikes body strikes, because while we're getting a feel for the distance, we might as well start doing damage, right? So I'm throwing some jabs, and then trying to end with either a body kick, and like an overhand right, or an uppercut. You can see there, nice little hook, nice little head kick, I think she blocked it though. And then, I'm actually blocking body shots there, so that's something I don't do often. Nice little head kick. Just like our backyard opponent, she is not protecting her head very well, nor her body. So it's just about picking our shots um, and not letting her touch us up too much. Tries to go for the takedown here. Nice little sprawl stopper. Now we're on top, and I'm really not good on top. So a little bit of ground and pound, move into full mount. Keep throwing some punches here, make her regret taking me to the ground. She's moving to the right, and I didn't block that. So with three, over three minutes left here, she's trying to take my back, and she does. But we're not going to let her work too much. Roll back to our back, defending, waiting for the right time to get up. I need to work on moving on my back uh, and uh, stopping, stopping their transitions is a big thing. Stopping body shots and stopping transitions is uh, what I need to work on if I get into the UFC. We make it back to our feet halfway through the round and figuring out my stance. <laughs> Realize I'm orthodox. And I, hit, I get her with a good little uppercut there as she's trying to move in on me and being a little aggro. She's really trying for some short strikes. So that opens up an opportunity for me to hit her with the uppercuts and the big overhead hooks. Nice little head kick here. She's got her hands down. She goes for the clinch. I sprawl again. And I decide to try to take her back here. But nothing will come of it. I'm not a grappler. Let's stand up and keep working on the head. Body shot. Can't forget the liver. Nice, well-timed jab. I take her down, knock her down. At that point, that's enough ground and pound. Herb Dean has seen enough. And I win my contender series fight. Boom. Beautiful little uppercut. As I was saying, she kept coming in for close shots. So as long as you are defending yourself, and time things well. That uppercut just did it. 
from then on it was over and I was able to get on the ground which was what I couldn't do in the backyard fight to finish her off so first round KO for Kemi in her contender series debut Some paperwork coming. The man himself walks into the ring and uh, looks like he didn't want to do any voice acting. <laughs> no lines for Dana. Hey, yo, we stay ready. Don't worry, Sean. And quit telling him it's no problem, right, kid? You already know it's no problem at all. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. What the fuck? Right. Thank you so much. <laughs> How did it feel to fight in Abe? Yeah, you have any, any octagon jitters, huh? <laughs> Man, I mean, for the first 10 seconds, it was a little iffy, but right? I felt so in tune. That fight camp was amazing. You know, TI is available to all UFC fighters. And you are yeah, now UFC that's fighters. What I'm talking about. <laughs> the whole the PI is, well, is there for little any little UFC little fighter to use? It made me think of something that kind of. I wish the UFC did differently, and I'll try to bring it up in the next uh, hot takes video about like fighter development. So I hope I don't forget. But that's it. That is We're approaching the end of the first video now. Already on like a half hour video. This flew by, but we officially get a three fight. UFC contract. A little bit, a little bit of cash on this one. A few fans. We lost uh, 0.6% longevity, so not too much to worry about right now. Evolved some moves here, and if you look at the fight stats, we're only behind, I guess, by one second. <laughs> on control, but that wasn't the game we were going for. We were going for a finish, so I'm not bothered about that. Um, striking percentage looks pretty good right now. It was an easy opponent, but decent strike percentage, strike landed percentage. Let's look at our contract. So it's a three fight contract, 17,000 show, 17,000 win and the contract bonus is that if we take every opponent that the UFC offers us without turning one down or asking for a different opponent we get a 25 grand bonus and a 5% jump in popularity so that all sounds good to me and we will accept the contract with <laughs> a fingerprint which is a weird touch in this game, but we'll take it. And that, guys, is the first episode of our UFC career. Please let me know what you thought. If you got any feedback on the format, I'd love to hear it. And uh, let me know if you'd like to see a part two with our first few fights in the UFC. I think we're ending this on a little text exchange with coach and in the end I decided to taunt the opponent because let, you know, let's get those fans and early on I'm not concerned with being friends with these fighters to train with them let's work on getting a fan base first and then we'll worry about the superstar